This video shows the excessive harvest of a public resource in Carlos and Mesquite Bays. The increasing commercial take has evolved from a harvest to a pillage, effectively diminishing the natural benefits that these baffle reefs have on a sensitive environment. In a recent presentation to the Texas Parks and Wildlife Commission, the department's director of coastal fisheries, Robin Rikers, proposed closing Carlos, Mesquite, and Ayers Bays to the commercial harvesting of oysters. If the commission sanctions this measure, the proposal would go through a series of public hearings to garner comments from the general public. On November 3rd, commissioners are scheduled to determine whether to adopt the proposal. It is important that we participate in this process, either by attending the commission meeting or one of the public hearings, or simply by voicing an opinion through the Texas Parks and Wildlife website. Riker's presentation showed the increasing pressure on reefs in Ayers, Mesquite, and Carlos Bays. Ayers Bay has 576 acres of oyster reefs. Mesquite Bay has 541 acres, and Carlos Bay has 1,010 acres. Combined, this represents 2.8% of the total oyster habitat in Texas. From 2019 to 2021, 9.6% of the coastwide oyster landings came from this small area. But in 2022, the harvest from these bays increased to 30.4% of the total coastwide landings. This cannot continue. This is an overview of the proposed closure area. To understand the ecological importance of these reefs, it's essential to understand the dynamics of the ecosystem. This series of reefs provides more than fisheries habitat. The reefs also serve as baffles that stabilize the bay bottom while moderating the flow of water between San Antonio and Aransas Bays. Slowing the current allows oysters not only to thrive, but also to filter microbes and impurities from the water. Without the baffle reefs, prevailing winds from San Antonio and Espiritu Santo Bays would push water through this shallow area, resulting in erosion and turbidity. The wave attenuation benefits alone improve water quality while allowing the oysters to function as nature intended. In subsequent videos, we plan to isolate each of these unique baffle reefs to explain their current physical condition while comparing that to their historic characteristics. We intend to demonstrate why declaring them as sanctuary reefs is essential to the future of our fishery.